Bienvenidas y bienvenidos a la lección número 7 de Español. Vamos a comenzar ya. Como cada día, os recuerdo qué es lo que necesitamos para la clase de Español. Necesitamos una libreta, un boli de cualquier color, negro, azul, verde, un lápiz, una goma, un ordenador o una tablet o un teléfono y manejar Get Familiar with the Google Site. Um, I'm going to tell you today what we are going to be learning. As every day, we are going to be revising la fecha, el tiempo, los números del 1 al 50, and uh, we are going to be working on a new theme today. We are going to learn to say and to ask about the time in Spanish. So the way you ask about the time in Spanish, what time is it, you would be saying que hora es. So we know how to say que, como que tiempo hace hoy, hora, we have a silent letter here, hora, es, que hora es. We are going to be working on letters J, H, E, Y, we know these ones, and a new one, Ñ, ok? So we'll be doing los colores afterwards, que hora es, and then um, I will be telling you what your homework is for this week, los deberes. Okay, so as every day we need to start by writing the date, escribir la fecha y el tiempo. Now I'm going to show you this, so you need to uh, get a um, copy from here, the words that you need for writing the date. If you need to pause the video, you pause it. Okay, so we've got here days of the week, los días de la semana y los meses del año. Estamos en junio, okay? So this would be for writing the date. If you need to pause the video, pause it now. We've got here um, what we need for writing about the weather. And again, if, you've, if you have to pause the video, you pause it here and you copy what you need. Okay. So as every day, I'm going to do uh, my do now, as you're doing now. Uh, and as I always say, I will be writing today's date which is different from the day in we, on which you um, watch this video, because I always record the videos a week before. So today, for me, la fecha es um, viernes 5 de, sorry, 5 junio, no capital letter for junio, because we don't write, um, Capital letters, we don't write the days of the week and the months of the year, we don't write them with capital letters in Spanish. 5 de junio 2020. ¿Qué tiempo hace hoy? So I'm going to write here, let me see, I'm going to write here. Um, hoy hace sol y calor. And then, ¿cuál es tu color favorito? And I'm going to write here, mi color favorito es el azul. That's mine. Yours might be different. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to read this and then you can post, I mean, you need to post the video and either read mine, so you repeat what I've said, or read yours. Okay? So there we go. Fecha, viernes 5, junio 2020. ¿Qué tiempo hace hoy? Hoy hace sol y calor. ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? Mi color favorito es el azul. And now you post the video and you read this or read your do now. ¿Ok? Ok, so here we are. We are working on numbers up to 50. ¡Wow! 50. Ok, and I've got, we've got here numbers up to 20. I'm going to be saying them and you can repeat after me. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20. And then um, I'm going to read intense numbers here, intense numbers that we need to make the combinations up to 50. So I will read only up to 50. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay? So, um, as I always tell you, when we write numbers from 21 to, 21 to 29, we need to remember that 20, we write 20 and in, ends in E, but when we want to write 21, so that's how 20 would look like, but if we, we want to write 21, we need to change this E into an, sorry, this E into an I, and we write 21. 22. We only need to add afterwards numbers from 1 to 9. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay? However, this is for 20. But if we want to write numbers from 30 onwards, remember that we need to use three words. 30 y 1. 30 y 2, 30 y 3, 30 y 4, 30 y 5, 30 y 6, 30 y 7, 30 y 8, 30 y 9, and then we go on to 40. Remember, from here, from 10, 20, 30, and now we go on to 40. 40 y 1, 40 y 2, 40 y 3, 40 y 4, 40 y 5, 40 y 6, 40 y 7, 40 y 8, 40 y 9, and then we've got 50. Okay, now we are going to watch a video up to 59, up to 60, which would be our next one, right? So we've got up to 50, then 51, 52, and then next one will be 60. So we are going to watch a video about uh, numbers. We go on to our lesson lesson seven and we've got um, well it's not ready yet we are going to go on to our lesson and we go on to not, not our lesson we are going to go on to numeros sorry and we are going to watch a video about numbers up to 60 okay these ones are really fun and i know you love them but they are only number. They are only up to uh, twenty. So we need to uh, watch videos that are up to sesenta. So let's watch this one. Hoy vamos a aprender a contar del uno al cien. Comenzamos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Okay, now what I want you to do is every time you hear a number that ends in zero, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, I want you to snap your fingers like this. Okay, so when we hear 10, when we hear 20, when we hear 30, cuando escuchamos 40, y cuando escuchamos 50. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit backwards. And then you're ready for every time we listen to a number that ends in zero, we need to snap our fingers. Ready? Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte, veintiuno, veintidós, veintitrés, veinticuatro, veinticinco, veinticinco. 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 60. Okay, and I'm going to stop it here because this is the numbers that we know at the moment up to 60. So, um, well done, everybody. So, this is what I would like you to do now. We've got these numbers here written down, uh, but I would like you to practice on numbers from 51 to 59. Okay, so I would like you to write down the numbers in numbers, and next to it, you write the word. And remember, how to write these numbers with words, we need to use three words. 50, you've got it here, 50 y, and then uno. 50 y dos, 50 y tres. So this is the activity I would like you to do now. Make sure you write down, the, I mean, you, you are careful with the spelling and try to write the numbers from 51 to 59. So now you pause the video and you do this. I will give you the answers in a moment. Okay, so um, these are your answers here. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Now you can pause the video again and make sure you've got the right spelling. If you've got anything wrong, cross it out and please write it down three times anywhere that you've got wrong, okay? 50 should be always be the same, and then you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? All right. Now, this is another thing we are going to be doing today. We are going to do, um, I'm going to give you some numbers that you need to write in here. So first number is going to be written in here, and then here, and then here, and then here, here, here. We are going to start writing the numbers in numbers. I will be saying them twice and then I will be repeating them at, at the end. Or, I mean, when I finish saying them twice, I will be repeating them all. And we are going to write them in numbers first thing. Okay? So, if you need to get anything, you can always pause the video and then come back. Uh, I'm going to start now. Número 24. 24. And then we go into here. 35. 35. 46. 46. 57. 57. 45. 45. 39. 39. 22, 22, 21, 21, 9, 9. I'm going to be saying them again, okay? Just one time each. So go here. 24, 35, 46, 57, 45. 39, 22, 21, 9. Okay, now what I want you to do is, with the numbers you've got written down, I want you to write them in words, okay? And as I always say, remember from 21 to 29 it will be one word and for the rest it will be three words, okay? So, pause the video here and write your numbers in words, okay? And then come back, I'll give you the answers. All right, so these are the answers. Now make sure, again, that everything is correct and if there is anything wrong, uh, cross it out and write it down properly three times. So you pause the video now and you make sure that 
you mark all your answers, okay? I'm sure you've got lots of them correct. Okay, now, uh, we are going to work today into a new letter. We had talked about this letter before, but um, obviously uh, not very, not for very long. And we are going to start like from, fre from fresh now. So this is letter Ñ, and this is a special letter because uh, it only exists in the Spanish alphabet. Okay, so it's like an N, but it's got this little like lined hat here on top of it. Ñ, 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 you see it in the word España. España in Spanish means Spain. Okay, so the way we say Spain in Spanish is España. And it's got an Ñ, an Ñ. Okay, España. And then I placed this picture here because... Um, in your keyboards, you don't have an ñ as such, you don't have this. Uh, we do it in the Spanish keyboards. So in my keyboard, I think I showed you my keyboard when we were in school, I've got an ñ. Okay, so this is my this is an ñ on, on a Spanish keyboard. Okay, to start doing this letter, I think the best option is to listen to monosyllable and to listen to uh, and watch a video about ñ. So this is what we are going to be doing now, okay? So we are going to go on to, uh, sorry, it's taking some time. Yeah, we are going to go on to lectura, letras, letra ñ, and the sound is ñ, ñ. It's a sound that you don't have in your alphabet, so I understand it's a bit difficult, but uh, we need to try ñ, ñ, como niño, niña. El Okay, muñeca. You could write them down. You can pause the video and write them down. But I will give you words with ñ afterwards. So, up to you. Ñ, como la palabra muñeca. Ñ, como la palabra pañito. Ñ, como la palabra niño. Ñ, como la palabra señudo. Ña, ñ. Ni, ño, ñu. ¿Puedes repetirlas? Ajá, ajá. Ña, ñe, ñi, ño, ñu. Ok, 
Okay, very good. And now uh, let's listen to this so you practice the nya nya nyi nyo nyu. Okay, the sound. <laughs> sound will carry on working on this sound now for today what I want you to do is just to revise the sounds and the words so we've got elle, llave, galleta, pollito, anillo, lluvia with jota, jarra, tijeras, jirafa, J, jueves. With H, which is a silent letter. Hamburguesa, helado, hilo, hoja, which could be in both, uh, J and H, hoja, humo. And now the new ones, this is just revising, the new ones. We've got uña, fingernail, uña. Bañera, which is like a bathtub. Bañera, bañera. Meñique, your little finger. Meñique. Niño, we could also have niña here, right? Niño. And sueño. Sueño is like when you're, when you're having a dream, that's a sueño, un sueño. Okay? So, uña, bañera, meñique, niño, sueño. For today, if this is just an introduction, I would love you to stop the video, to pause it here, to write the words and to write and to draw the pictures. This is what I would like you to do about Enya. We won't be doing anything else about Enya. We'll, be car we'll carry on working next week, but for today, that's enough. So please pause the video and write the words of Enya. You don't need to write all these words with Enya, J, J, and H, because we've done that before. But please write uña, bañera, meñique, niño, sueño with a nice eñe. So as we used to do in the classroom, we had a nice eñe and then we had different words uh, coming out of the nice eñe. And please make the little drawings, okay? That's what I would like you to do. So please pause the video and do that. Okay, so now uh, we are going to start revising colors. Do you remember your colors? I'm sure you do. So let's see if you remember the names of these colors. 
I'm gonna say it like you read my lips and see if you remember. So you remember now. So we have azul, verde, marrón, naranja, blanco, rojo, negro, rosa, gris, amarillo, naranja, okay. Violeta, violeta, okay. Now. Remember, we used to do these memory games. Maybe we'll do a memory game uh, next week or in a few weeks. So for now, it's just revising and see how much you remember. So we had azul, verde, marrón, naranja, blanco, rojo, negro, rosa, gris, amarillo, with yo, yo, naranja, again, with J, y violeta. Now, this is, this is the colors here. Azul, verde, just in the, same, in the same order. Marrón, naranja, blanco, rojo, negro, rosa, gris, amarillo, naranja, again, violeta. Now, I'm going to ask you to do this. Uh, I want you to read this very carefully and then you need to try to um, write the names of the colors here. Start by the colors that you know for sure. If you know this color for sure, you write it here. If you don't know this one, just leave the blank and then go on to the next one. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to show this uh, slide now. I would like you to pause the video and read them carefully, try to learn them, and then I'll tell you what to do. So you pause the video, and when you have read them a few times and you think you're ready, come back. Okay, so now that you've read them a few times and you think that you can read, I mean, write some of them at least, try to write them. You pause the video here and you try to write the colors. Remember to use A, E, I, O, U and all the, all the uh, techniques that I gave you about the sounds and the letters, okay? Remember that in Spanish, letters always sound the same, they don't have different sounds. So A is always A, E is always E, I, O, U, the same, okay? Pause the video and try to write as many colors as you remember. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you the answers. So I, I'll show them here and you make sure that you correct them. And if you have anything wrong, just uh, correct it and write it again and make sure that you get the right uh, spelling for all the words, okay? All right, so now um, we are going to watch this story about colors because I think that it's a nice story for you to watch. this one. But you can watch all the videos, okay? Up to you. Esto es el color rojo. Esto es amarillo. Esto es azul. ¡Guau! ¡Wow! ¡Los sílabos! ¡Mira, mira, mira! ¿Tienes idea de qué es eso? ¡Nicola! ¡Cuidado! ¡No sabemos qué es! Eh, ¡Vamos a averiguarlo! ¡Oh, oh! ¡Ay! ¡Wow! ¡Monosílabo! ¿Qué nos pasó? Eh, ¡Parecemos caricaturas! ¡No lo sé, Nicola! ¡Esto es muy extraño! 
pero de seguro será una gran aventura. Bienvenidos a mi mundo, amigos. Es un universo peculiar en el que aprenderán, pero también se divertirán. ¿Qué les gustaría aprender hoy? ¡Eh! ¡Los colores! ¡Los colores! ¡Muy bien! ¡Vámonos! ¡Ajá! ¡Guau! ¡Mira esa fuente de colores! ¡Nicola! ¡Vamos! ¡Ay, sí, sí, sí! sí. ¡Guau! Este es un baúl mágico que tiene muchas cosas de diferentes colores. ¿Quieren que lo abra? ¡Sí, sí, súper genio! ¡Quiero ver todo lo que tienes ahí! ¡Me encanta este lugar! ¡Ajá, ajá! ¡Es increíble! Esto es un globo de color... ¿Qué color es eso? ¿Puedes you guess? Exactly. Rojo. Eh, ¡Rojo! Así es, monosílabo. Es un globo de color rojo. Esta es una banana, como las que comes tú, monosílabo. Y es de color... What color is that? Ah, amarillo. ¿Es verde? No, Nicola. Esta banana es de color amarillo. ¡Oh, rayos! ¡Es cierto, super genio! Eso es un auto de color azul. ¡Qué azul tan hermoso! ¡Se parece al cielo! Tienes razón, monosílabo. Hay muchísimas tonalidades de cada color. Eh, ¡Muchas, muchísimas! ¡Eso ya lo sabía yo! Esto es un dinosaurio de peluche. Y es de color... ¡Es verde! ¡Verde! Así es, Nicola. Este sí es el color correcto. <risa> ¡Mucho cuidado, monosílabo! ¡Que los dinosaurios me dan mucho miedo! ¡Tranquilo, Nicola! ¡Esto es un juguete! ¡No es real! Esto es un maletín de color violeta. ¡Ah, claro! ¡Es el mismo color de las uvas que me como por las mañanas! ¡Sí! ¡Exactamente, Nicola! ¡Muy bien! Este es el último objeto. Es una naranja y se llama igual que el color. ¿Las naranjas? ¡Son muy apetitosas! ¡Cuidado! A ver, a ver, monosílabo. Yo la quiero. Me encantan las naranjas. Gracias por todo, genio. Ha sido un viaje maravilloso. ¡Ey, sí! ¡Ajá! Y ahora que han aprendido, bada bim, bada bar, es hora de regresar a su hogar. ¡Wow! ¡Wow! ¡Qué divertido fue todo esto, monosílabo! ¡Me encantó! Iré a contarle a mi tío Mario, cavernario, por todo lo que aprendí hoy. ¡Ay, qué bueno, qué bueno! ¡Ay, Nicola! ¡Espera, espera! Ok, so that was Nicola a monosílabo learning about colors. Ok, you already know them. So, this is about colors, ok? Okay, so now um, we are going to learn how to um, ask uh, the time and how to answer the time, okay? So what in English would be what's the time or what time is it? In Spanish, we would be saying ¿Qué hora es? ¿Qué hora es? ¿Qué hora es? Okay, how can we answer that? 
Today, we are going to learn how to say um, all the hours o'clock, okay? Like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. This is what we are going to be learning because this is the first day that we do the time. And uh, we are going to start by saying uh, the time in Spanish for one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and so on. So, uh, the only sentence that is different is when we want to say es la una en punto, it's one o'clock, because um, it's just one, so we need to use the singular. ¿Qué hora es? Es la una en punto. So, en punto means sharp, o'clock, o'clock, okay? Um, but if it is two o'clock, then we would be saying son las dos en punto. O son las tres en punto, son las cuatro en punto, son las cinco en punto, son las seis en punto, son las siete en punto, son las ocho en punto, son las nueve en punto, son las diez en punto, son las once en punto y son las doce en punto. So this is what we need to know. We need to know what the time is if it is one or two or three or five, up to 12, obviously, because this is the, the hours that we have in our clock. And then to say o'clock, we need to say en punto. Two words, en punto. Okay? ¿Qué hora es? Son las, whatever, en punto. ¿Qué hora es? Son las, whatever, en punto. Okay, so now, uh, we've got here, uh, let me see. Yes, we've got here these clocks that show different times, all of them en punto. So if you are asked, ¿qué hora es? And you want to say this time here, you would be saying, son las cuatro en punto. Son las cuatro en punto. Now, if you want to say this one, ¿qué hora es? In here. See, the little uh, needle shows number nueve. So we would be saying, son, sorry, I don't want to use capital letters, las nueve en punto. Okay? What about this one here? Exactly. Son las ocho en punto. What about here? This is the different one. So I'm going to write it in red because this is the only one that is different. Es la una en punto. Okay? Now what about um, this one here? Son las seis en punto. And what about this one? Son las siete en punto. And what about here? Son las dos en punto. What about here? Son las cinco en punto. And here? Son las doce en punto. Okay, now this is what I would like you to do. I would like you to write down these times. I've written here two examples, son las cuatro en punto, son las nueve en punto. You can follow these examples and I've written here the exception, so you don't have to worry about that for the moment. Es la una en punto. Now you pause the video, look at the clocks here and try to write the times, okay? When you finish, you come back. Okay, so these are your answers. Son las cuatro en punto, son las nueve en punto, son las ocho en punto, es la una en punto, the different one. Son las seis en punto, son las siete en punto, son las dos en punto, son las cinco en punto, son las doce en punto. Okay, make sure you um, have it like this. And if not, please mark, correct it and write it correctly because um, then you'll be learning, right? Okay. Okay, so for today, that's it. It's been a very intense lesson, I know. We've been doing la fecha, el tiempo, los números hasta el 50, 
we've been revising J H E Y, a new letter N Y. We've been revising los colores, and we've been learning about how to tell the time in English and how to ask about it. I think we've been doing a lot today. So there is not going to be there is not going to be any homework. Just to explore the site and um, watch the videos that you look that you really like. Okay, and that's it. Um, I hope to see you next week. Um, stay safe and see you next week.